And my name is Lucy. And my name is Athena. And today is March 18th, 2021. There's a lot of news and information about returning to school, so please pay attention and we'll do our best to tell you all about it. We will be experiencing some scheduling stuff. For one, tomorrow will be asynchronous. In the words of the Tuesday team, Tomorrow, which is an asynchronous Wednesday, so turn in your work by 3.30. Or, or else something bad will happen. You'll get 10 years of bad luck if you don't turn it in. Or something. However, there will be announcements. You can find them on your GMS TV Google Classroom. An anonymous source has leaked that the announcements will have something special. So please watch. After the awesome Friday announcements and a wonderful weekend, you'll wake up to find that there's no school on Monday. So we'll have a three-day weekend. Additionally, new schedules are going to be released on Monday after 3 p.m. After that, there's an asynchronous Tuesday followed by a normal asynchronous Wednesday, so students will have a pretty easy start to the week. Ending that off, most 6th graders will be starting in-person school on Thursday, and all teachers will start teaching in campus on Thursday as well. Even with all the weirdness going on, we found time to celebrate the amazing women of the world. Hopefully these stories will help you power through your day. Cleopatra the seventh Ptolemy was born in the early 69 BCE in Alexandria, Egypt. She was one of the five kids of Cleopatra the fifth, Tryphania, and Ptolemy the twelfth. As a child of the royal family, Cleopatra studied quite a few languages that were spoken at the time, including Greek, Latin, and Aramaic. She was probably most famous for her long reign. She ruled for 21 years. This may have been difficult because she was female. In fact, there wasn't even a word for queen. And not only was she a female pharaoh, but she was also the last pharaoh of ancient Egypt. Another thing Cleopatra was known for are her romantic connections with a few leaders of Rome, including Julius Caesar and Mark Antony. Cleopatra the seventh Ptolemy showed that women can be great leaders and united Egypt and Rome at least for a short time. Thank you, that was just as inspiring as we hoped for. We have a lot of teachers. Fun fact, 100% of those teachers are cool teachers. Where did you go to for college? UC Davis. What is your favorite TV show? Gilmore Girls. What is your most favorite thing to do with your free time? Sleep or cook? Do you have a pet? No. Do you follow people online? If so, who and on what platform? On Instagram, I follow puppies, artists, dancers, and teacher meme accounts. What are your favorite types of food? Pick one to two types. Mexican and Japanese. What is your favorite movie? Clueless. What is your favorite essential element? I belong. When you were a kid, what did you want to be when you grew up? An astrophysicist so I could go to space. What one to two things do you miss most about teaching in the classroom since the pandemic and shelter in place hit? 
I miss all the laughs and fun at school events. Two to four things that people may not know about me are, I'm named after a soap opera character, I'm an only child, my favorite season is fall, and I love sushi. Anything else you want to add? I want to give my mom a hug. I also want to see my students in 3D. And I want to do more coloring and try new cooking recipes. This person might be known for saying, I don't know, let's ask Siri. If you think you know who this is, make sure to fill out the Google form in your GMS TV Google Classroom. Which one of these teachers was that video about? It's been a while, so here's an extra long classic Thunder Thursday for you to enjoy. One, oranges used to be green. Two, Q is the only letter not used in a state name. Three, Scotland has 421 words for snow. Four, peanuts are not nuts. They're legumes. Five, armadillos are bulletproof. Six, firefighters use wedding agents to make water wetter. Seven, cats have flush toes on their back paws. Eight, Kleenex were originally meant to be used for gas masks. Nine, the tiny pocket in jeans was used for watches. 10. Elephants don't feel bananas before eating them. We hope you enjoy Thunder Thursday. And have a great day. Be healthy. Stay clean. And... And Go Bears, brought to you not so live by GMS TV. Cut.